Psalm 119, verse 37, the psalmist says, turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things and revive me in your ways. Now we're careful to teach our children this principle. We teach them songs like, be careful little eyes what you see. We monitor closely what they watch. But the psalmist is saying that any godly man or woman ought to be careful about how they use their eyes. In fact, Job sets a great example for us in setting up a covenant with his eyes that he should not even look upon a young woman in Job 31.1. Because Job understood that protecting his eyes was a way to guard his heart from evil. The psalmist's request about his eyes follows a request about his heart. He's asking God to help guard his heart because he understands that when his eyes roam, so does his heart. In fact, Solomon wrote in Proverbs 4, And verse 23 says, keep your heart with all diligence for out of it springs the issues of life. And later on in that passage, he says, let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. In fact, Jesus explains in Matthew 6 verses 22 to 23, that the eye is a lamp of the body, that when the eye is full of light, so will the body be. But when the eye is full of darkness, so will the body. 